Hi, um, just a, making a video to show you how to um, uh, redo uh, dinky toys, um, you know, if they're badly uh, paint damaged, how to prep and respray them, and just how I do it, and um, everybody has a little bit of a different way. I'll just show the beginning to the end. So here we go. And just simple um, old margarine tub, toothbrush. For just for cleaning it. This is a paint stripper, right? And it's been in there for about 10-15 minutes. And as you can see, the paint is beginning to come off here very quickly, right? I actually had sprayed this car, but it, it didn't turn out right, so I'm doing it again. So I thought I'd use this as an example. Don't use your hands, always use the pliers. Because this acid, this is a paint stripper, um, and it will burn. I'm going to put the light a little bit better so you can see it. Margarine tub and paint stripper. As you can see, the paint's coming up pretty quick, right? And a toothbrush to clean it off a little bit using the toothbrush. And the pliers, I'll give it a bit of a scrub down. Here's the car. I brushed it a little after leaving it in there for another 10 or 20 minutes. See all the paint's gone. Put it in the sink. Put water over it. Water neutralizes the acid. And then I'm going to put a bit of a uh, wash up liquid on it and wash it. A little bit of wash up with liquid and wash it really thoroughly with the, with the toothbrush. Here's my method of um, hanging the cars up. A hook two sided. And then you know basically I uh, get some light in here. I take the car and put the hook through it, through the window ledge usually, like this. Put, this is actually um, a coat hanger cut and bent both sides, a hook and a hook. So you can hang the car up, turn it around and spray it. So this is the car after uh, washing, it, washing it off, I mean the light, sorry. This is um, the car after washing the acid off with uh, wash up liquid and water. And I changed the toothbrush and used a, newer, a new toothbrush so there's no acid at all in the car. I might give it a light sand. And um, if there's any little marks left, you can take um, an X Acto knife and come in and clean up a little bit of paint marks. But it, in general, the acid gets it all out. There's very little left. I might use a very light sanding to roughen it up or to make sure it doesn't have acid on. But if you washed it properly, it should be okay. You can spray it. Hi, I'm just going to show you how I changed spraying my dinky toys over the years. Here I have an Austin Atlantic Black. I gave it a little bit of um, um, wet and dry sanding, but I'm going to take the paint off first and uh, then show you how I don't, I don't take out the rivets anymore and how I paint it. So just a little quick new lesson on my change in the way I uh, treat the cars. Here's one way, you know, I just take the back of a knife and scrape away at the paint till it's gone. It's one method. I'm not using any um, strippers on this because I'm leaving the wheels on and the rivets and everything. Let's get this a little bit better lined up here. Yeah, I have different methods for taking up paint. Here's one of the ones, a rotary brush, and I just get in there and get the paint off as quick as I can. Kind of put it on the table. I gotta tilt it down. There. And just get in here and get the paint off. 
Yeah, just change the brush to this type to get it a little quicker, get into the edge a bit more. I think I should be wearing gloves. Oops. Yeah, after scraping my finger, I put on a pair of gloves. Got a little lazy there. But it does the job. Look at that. Let's zoom in a bit. There we go. After scalping my finger, I put on a glove. See how clean that is now? Yeah. That's pretty good. We'll do a little bit of scraping with a knife. Pick, put a little bit of in tape back on my wheel where I hit it. And we're away to go. Yeah, sometimes the drill doesn't get in where I want, so I just take the brush and put it in my hand, and then I just scrape the car a little like by hand with the really rough brush. And you know, I get these black marks out of it that I quicker. Instead of scraping around, you know, too much. I get down to the detail really quick this way. Can you see it there? You know, and then yeah, I just do this for you guys. I'll put it this way. See, and I just rub the brush like that with my hand really quick. Get out some more of the black. And it's nearly done. Then I'll take the knife and that and I'll pick out some of the little edges a little bit. Here's a, a really good tool. It's a actual uh, tooth toothpick from the dentist office I got in, you know, you can get in Canada in Princess Auto. It's a couple of bucks, but it's really handy for going into these edges and cleaning out your, there she goes, there you go. It cleans out the uh, lines for you, you know. It gives you that detail you want when you're finishing the car up later on. Now, now, to finish off this, because it's fairly heavy scratches, I take a brass brush you can get in any hardware store here, and I rub the car as much as I can to smooth it out. And especially the finer the finer um, bristles will get in here into the, the grill and all that, and give me just that little bit more detail you need in the car when you're finishing it up. Yeah, I'm just going to uh, half this uh, masking tape, just by running a knife down the middle here. There we go. Two strips. One, two. Press hard in the very beginning and then you roll it through. The Atlantic's a little different than more difficult than others, but hey. Right, you roll it through there until the other side comes back up. See? That's a bit dark there, isn't it? There we go. And you try to cover this meal as much as possible. Now I'm going to take just little strips of the masking tape, tear them off, little pieces, and cover the wheels. I've got a diamond shape and over. Make sure nothing's showing for the spray. And then do the outside and then do the inside. Got to make sure I get the casting there painted. Don't leave any casting open. To leave these little tabs open for getting sprayed as well, so that it looks authentic. You know, you want to do a good job. Okay, there's one wheel. One wheel here done. I'll do the other four. You know, just covering them in. I don't uh, very often undercoat the plate because then it loses the writing detail. So I'm going to actually mask the underplate off. You can see the wheels are fairly well masked off. You're not going to get any spray and you do a good job of it, right? And now I'll do the plate and show you that. When you're putting the masking tape on the bottom, you want to have this overhang and then you want to tuck this in with the back of the blade of the knife. You want to tuck this in here. Now that creates no spray on the plate whatsoever. But you get this bottom edge here. You get the um, detail you need. Right? In here where the hole is, you want to dip the, the uh, masking tape in so the spray goes in and it has the same color in the inside. Uh, there we go, sorry. I'm going to zoom this in a bit. 
There, you want the, the um, spray to be in the inside of the car as well and in the dip wheel dips a bit so that it looks authentic. And you want to tuck it underneath this plate, the green tape, and tuck it in here. So there's no spray on the plate whatsoever. And if you have a better plate, you don't need to respray it afterwards. As you can see, I left the wheel wells with a little bit of gaps. The back here has a gap, and the wheel wells in the front here have their little gaps. So that spray goes in all these gaps here when you're spraying the car afterwards, when you're actually doing the finishing color. Right? So now we uh, undercoat, after I scrape this paint off, we'll undercoat it. I still have to mask off the red area. If you want to be a bit more detailed about masking your edges and getting a clean lines, you use um, this masking tape, this little strips, and you put them on. And then if you want to cover more, you put the green tape in behind. But you know, sometimes I put them on just to get finer lines. Especially when you're finishing and you're spraying the second colors later on. So I'd be actually putting it on the red maroon car here in the back and spraying the interior. Yeah, I'm talking in here in the dash with the back of the knife. So when we spray this, I don't have spray going in here because this will be a different color. And you know it's hard to clean in there afterwards. So you do a really nice job on the dash area. The other part isn't so bad. I'll just mask this off so it's covered. Now I've masked, now I've masked off in the inside so when I spray the undercoat, it doesn't all go in there. I don't really need that. Uh, maybe I'll change my mind. Same with the base plate. I don't know whether I'll spray that yet with the undercoat. I don't think I will. I usually just spray it in the black lightly. Now the, the bottom's all covered in, the wheels are covered in, and the, this is covered in. You know, it's been about, and we've taken all the paint off within maybe an hour. So now, so now I'll go and spray this car. Yeah, I'm going to hold the can well back when I spray this. Give it a little spin. And very light feathering there, right? A little bit more on top there, and voila! I have to do the undercoat on the bottom a little bit. Actually, you should have sprayed the bottom first, tilted it up on here, sprayed it, and then tipped it down on the four wheels, but it's okay. I'll use the hook. Very light dusting. Any other pieces missing? Color a little. Take the hook out. Uh, got it. That's back, well back. Over a foot. Right, you want to keep the lines of the car, it's a little heavy there in the corner, but it'll be fine. Yeah, I sometimes use this lamp because it has the heat out of it, it's uh, outdoor light, but it's warm. And because it's cold in the garage, I heat it a little bit, the car, so it gets a, a little bit of um, drying. And then I'll bring it into the house and let it dry in room temperature.
Braid number two. Very thin and very lightly. Trying to get more detail. Let's see if it's working. There we go. Number three coat after about 10 or 15 minutes. Just going to make sure the bottom is done. <laughs> 